Hello YouTuber, it's uh, me again, seeing as you're on my channel, that's kind of to be expected. Um, I just wanted to make a quick vlog, because I'm both head or to bed, and um, I've had a lot on my mind, and I really like ranting, and vlogging apparently is a very good way to rant. <laughs> um, I know my last two videos are very contrasting, and uh, I would, I would like to continue the cup song stuff. Um, I'll post a cover of the actual cup song. Um, I know the last one was meant to help people kind of deal with things and make them feel worth it and make them realize that they are worth it. Um, other than that, this vlog is to discuss sexuality and you know, LGBT rights, and that's what's been on my mind lately, um, and kind of understanding things a little better, because not a lot of people get the opportunity to understand sexuality, and it's really hard being able to talk about it nowadays, because there's so much hype, and there's so much miscommunication, and, um, also another point, I'd like to make is that um, if you watch this then I would also like to give you a little bit of homework. Please go watch a Blake Bliss video. He is one of the most breathtaking individuals I've ever had the pleasure of witnessing in my life and the way he communicates his thoughts is not only immaculate but his vocabulary is just so broad and uh, no one's ever had the power to make me cry with a video like he has and um, not only cry but feel and um, he's one of the people who really influences me in life and he's changed my life in a few ways and it's been for the better and he's very he's a genuinely good person so if you have time and you feel like watching some more self-help videos and um, you want to just feel like you're not alone, I would suggest you watch one of his videos because he is truly very good at that. Anyways, let's move on to my topic of conversation. Mm -hmm. That would be gay rights. Well, not just gay rights, but understanding sexuality. Um, now, it's not just black and white. It's not just gay and straight. Um, some people barely recognize bisexuality. Now, we're, we're gonna, I'm gonna go over it in very short, simple terms of a few of the thousands of possibilities. Um, so straight people obviously prefer to have sex with people of the opposite gender, and they prefer to be with someone of the opposite gender. Gay people obviously prefer same sex. Bisexual people don't take gender into accord with relationships and sexual relations. But there's also people who are transgender. Those people are still human beings. Those people are still very real. They're, they're not fake. They're not made up. They're not going through a phase. They're people who, you know, kind of got a little mixed up in the womb. There's a little bit of a chemical confusion up in there for, I don't know, I don't know if young people are watching and if I use there in the right context. Sorry, I'm not good at being hip, despite my glasses. <laughs> um, transgender people are just born into the wrong bodies and it doesn't cause a burden on anyone which is the problem because a lot of people are just so small-minded and it it's so wrong and the only burden it casts on that person is the fact that trying to change your body so that you can fit into it comfortably is very pricey it's financially poor and um that's really the only thing I can think of besides the scorn and the bullying just like you know a gay person would go through or someone else who's of any other reality that someone doesn't understand. I mean, it's it's very hard 
going through life and um, being a transgender person. It's, um, it's very, very hard because not a lot of people understand it. And um, I've had the pleasure of meeting one of the most awesome guys in my life. And uh, he is so strong and he hasn't lost touch of who he is just because other people might not agree with it or might be a little bit uncomfortable with it. They, they haven't changed his views on himself and it's amazing. And um, yeah, that's, he's really, him and his girlfriend have really helped me kind of see into that world and feel more connected with that world and I love it and I appreciate it, and it's really changed my life. Now, another sexuality people don't really realize is asexuality. It's, it's existing. It's existing around us every day. And it's very confusing and very hurtful for some people because they don't understand what's going on in their bodies that's making them dislike sex. Now, asexual people don't want to have sexual relations of any sort with any other human being, not even themselves. Thinking about their own genitalia freaks them out, other people's genitalia, them touching themselves, them touching other people, and other people touching them. It scares them, it confuses them, and they don't want it to happen. And it disgusts them. And they just don't want it, you know? It's like, people don't think it's real because they think, you know, hey, you must have had sex. And even if they have in their past, it doesn't mean that they're not asexual. I mean... When I was in music class, I had to play the goddamn recorder, and I fucking hated that thing. I hated the shit out of that thing. I still played it. It didn't make me a recorder enthusiast. I, I still fucking hated it. It just, it was something I felt I had to do to succeed, which some asexual people feel like in order to connect with other people and make them stay, and succeed in a relationship with them, they must have sex with them. And it's wrong because sex doesn't make a relationship. Love is being able to take away the hand-holding, the kissing, the sex, the physical parts of everything, and still being able to feel for that person. That is what love is. And asexuality is just a very strong part of that. And people don't understand that it's very much real. And it's very, very hard to come out as an asexual nowadays because it's still very new and sensitive and it's very, very hard to understand as someone from past generations where they're still trying to understand gay people or interracial relationships or transgender people. It's still very new to them and I think patience is the key thing here. I mean, you know, I live in Canada and it's I can marry a woman if I want to, you know? Like, my dream is to have children in a world where they can be who they are without everyone in the world telling them they can't just because they don't understand them and they don't agree with it. And I don't ever want anyone else to feel scared of being who they are because someone else disagrees or doesn't understand. And, you know, just because... Re like, for example, religion is a huge thing that's against homosexuality and any sexual se uh, <laughs> Sorry, I have trouble speaking. Um, any sexuality that isn't between a man and a woman and isn't traditional, they don't accept it because the Bible says it's wrong. Well, they should also be standing up for the fact that you shouldn't shave your facial hair and you shouldn't have sex before you're married and all that jazz. But they don't, so it seems kind of hypocritical, and it seems pretty ridiculous to tell someone that they can't have rights, or be parents, or they should be locked up and it's a criminal offense to be who they are. It's wrong. And there's no justification besides... Be <laughs> I'm having a really hard time today. <laughs> um, there's no justification behind telling someone that they can't be who they are because you don't like it. I mean, I don't like... A lot of people, but I don't try to stop their existence because of it. And the point of all of this is so that you can understand what sexualities there are, understand what people have to deal with, and understand that 
it's okay. It's okay to be different. And if someone's telling you it's not, then they're not strong enough to be in your life. And their minds are too small to comprehend yours. And that doesn't make you a bad person. That doesn't make them a bad person. It just makes them really small. And maybe someday they'll understand. Maybe it'll take patience. Maybe they'll never understand. But that, that just makes a big wall. And I hope someday some people can get over all the shit and realize that underneath we're all really the same. I mean, if you see two skeletons shaking hands, what do you see? You don't see a, you know, a white man, a black man, a gay man, a straight man, a Chinese man. You don't see any of that. You just see two people who have enough respect for each other to shake each other's hands. And that's what I hope to someday see in the world. So if you stuck it out through the whole video, thank you. And, you know, just mull these thoughts over in your head. Try to understand people. Try and accept the fact that your brains don't work the same way, your bodies don't work the same way, but we're all people. And we all deserve the same rights, the same respect, and no one has the power to take who we are away from us. So if we just stand up for who we are, then... No one can take that away from you. Not even... Not even religion or the government or anyone. You know? Just because you aren't allowed to get married to who you want to get married to doesn't mean you can't be with them. And if what you need to do is be with them for the rest of your lives, don't let marriage get in the way of that. Like... Sometimes just being with someone is enough. And it should be enough without a ring and a ceremony and a piece of paper. I mean, it would be fucking awesome to see it develop in the world, but for now we just have to accept that it's going to take a lot of patience, hard work, and we're going to just have to make them understand. So thank you for watching, and leave a comment or a video response with questions, concerns, questions about me, questions about you know, anything, and if you're gonna leave a comment bashing me, I'm not gonna read it. I'm not gonna give a fuck, because if you want to bash me for my beliefs and you want to bash me for this video, you can, but I'm not going to give you the satisfaction of a result in your attempts to shoot me down. Also, if you want to leave me a private message to talk, feel free. If you need someone to talk to, private message me and I'll send you my kick. Thank you so much for watching and until next time. Um, I'll see you guys later. I'll try to post more vlogs when I have time and hopefully this kind of shed a little bit of light on some things. Don't forget to check out check Jake. Whoa. Wow. Sorry for all the slurs. Um, don't forget to check out Big Bliss and thank you for watching and hopefully someday we can all make this place a little better for everyone and everyone will feel worth it. Everyone will feel comfortable being themselves and no one's going to be able to take anyone's rights away or individuality. So thanks for watching. I'm, uh, I'm Maddie. Just Maddie.